You want to play? Let's play. This video explaining why I'm going to help. Okay, let's talk about this. So, I had watched the other person's video first, and I understood where she was coming from. I just think, in this whole conversation, I think what gets lost is that there's two very different perspectives happening here. As a Christian myself, I understood that the first person's video was not trying to attack her as a person. However, she took it as a personal attack, saying like, oh, this video of her telling me why I'm going to hell. Now, her original video was her, I guess, either being um, sarcastic or making light of saying like, just let me go to hell, basically was her original video. The other person had responded, basically saying like, you don't want to make a joke about going to hell or not take it seriously because according to the Bible, even demons are begging not to go to hell. So basically, this person then responds to that saying like, oh, this these Christians don't know how to be loving and everything else. And it's almost like the best way to put it is if I had the cure for a disease that was killing millions of people and I didn't share that care with people and just watch millions of people die and said nothing even though I knew there was a way for those people to avoid dying would I be a loving good person to just be like well I told these people about the cure they rejected it so I guess I just let them die and don't try to reach them, right? Or help them. So that's one perspective or I guess one analogy for why Christians have to spread the gospel. If I know or if I believe that millions of people or hell is a real place where real people go, because of sin and that the only way for people to avoid going to hell because of their sin is faith in Jesus and I don't tell people that I have the answer to help them avoid this I'm not being loving and I'm also not I don't, I don't really care about those people now the atheist perspective or people who've left Christianity um those people don't but most of them don't actually believe in hell and i feel like if they did they've convinced themselves it's a place that they wouldn't mind going which i want to say is the creator i'm commenting back she seems to be in a place where she's like she doesn't care because either she doesn't actually believe hell exists or she's just like she hates the idea or concept of god so much that she'd rather go to hell than have to accept you know the terms and conditions that god has placed on us as the creator and so the one thing i've always i will always say perspective matters when you're speaking about these things and i always try to understand where people are coming from i don't like to assume the worst in people or assume that everyone's just like out to get someone um but the funny thing is, I've always noticed there's like this ironic thing where, you know, people will, who aren't Christian will mock and make fun of Christians for their beliefs and for what they believe and when they share their beliefs and say how, oh, Christians are so hateful, there's no hate like Christian love, like that sort of thing. But you're calling Christians hateful based off of when they're coming from a perspective of they don't want you to go to hell. And it's almost like you're mocking people for caring enough about you to not want you to experience what they know and believe is eternal torment. And then you're saying they're the problem and they're hateful when they're just trying to actually, you know, help people now whether that help is received or not is you know 
there's a lot of other things based around it. But I also think it's hard because someone who doesn't believe or has rejected that doesn't necessarily care to hear it anymore or they're whatever stopping them from believing because at the end of the day someone who you can't force someone to be a christian you can't force someone to believe in god that is ultimately everyone's individual choice however um when someone has made the choice to not believe in god that um, per a lot of times those people have this disdain or condescending attitudes towards people who do or project assumptions of people who do because of whatever traumatic experience or whatever past trauma they may have had in church or their whatever feelings. A lot of atheists are people who once believed in God and stopped believing in God for whatever reason. Um, that is very common for a lot of atheists, I've noticed. They used to be in church, but now they don't believe. They studied the Bible, and now they don't believe. Like, it's always people who used to have some sort, used to have something to do with church, and then they left. Um, is a pattern I've personally noticed. Overall, I think it's it's always sad to see those people and I always wonder like their stories. The problem is I get on here and watch them patronize people who they're claiming on patronizing them. I feel like they they're very hypocritical. It's just it's it's a very hypocritical thing to do because her entire page is pretty much mocking Christianity for their faith or telling people why Christians are such hateful people and all of these things and then when Christians get and you know try to defend themselves she is like oh they're attacking me now and telling me I'm going to hell but you made the first video saying like let me go to hell and this person responded not because she wants you to go to hell but basically saying like it's not something that it's not a place that you should want to go, basically. So anyways, I find that part to be kind of hypocritical. And also looking at the comments, I just feel like on both videos, it's clear that, you know, there is a big bias as far as, you know, if you already don't like Christians, you're going to support whatever the girl who's anti-Christian said if you're a Christian you're gonna support what the girl who's a Christian said and it's sad because it's like this war is not with people the war is with the devil at the end of the day I don't know like we're not Christians attack um Christians should not be attacking people who don't believe in God because at the end of the day those people are not the enemy i don't think someone being an atheist is i'm not mad because someone's an atheist i'm not upset and you know i think it is sad because whatever they've been through to put them in on that journey whether they used to go to church or stopped going to church you know there's a reason for everything um personally i think that's why sharing your testimony is so important because there's a lot of people who have similar stories, but your personal testimony is what you can share. And that is how you can attest to what you've actually been through, what you've actually had to overcome in your life, um, sharing what God has actually done for you. So yeah, that's just my two cents.